Hey guys, I'm Yash. Uh, today I will show you how to fetch uh, time and date. It can be used as a timestamp. Uh, you can store it to core data or uh, any database. Uh, and uh, today, but what we will be doing is we will be displaying it uh, to a label. So let's get started. Create a new Xcode project. Single view application. Name it time and date. And uh, do check the settings here. Next. Uh, save it wherever you want let's hop over to main.storyboard get a label we will uh, horizontally and vertically in container and uh, let's give it a fixed width and height of uh, 350 and uh, height of 50 and adapt to the new constraints add to constraints uh, cent center align and increase the size to 22 so we need to attach it to the view controller so open assistant editor control drag it to the view controller name it status label connect so now we are done with this so let's just uh, use view controller and uh, close assistant editor so okay we have it here so what we will do is first uh, let's create a constant date equals to date okay uh, now this is uh, this is where the date is stored now uh, I will show you two methods of using uh, this thing uh, fetching date and time and displaying it so this will be a method I prefer method I prefer so data is here now we will uh, get a formatter date formatter it's a class so don't forget the parentheses now what we do is we format the way it displays a date okay so format dot date style i always like it short so uh, this is an enum so it will be dot short and formatter dot time style again uh, i don't like time so it will be none uh, now uh, let's change the status of the label so what we will do is status label dot text equals to uh, string interpolation here we will write formatter dot string from date okay so and our date will be the date we uh, fetched earlier so let's run the application okay I'll I like it in iPhone 6 because I have iPhone 6 so run okay this is first time okay let's not waste time uh, I'll show you the second method uh, right now uh, we'll see the preview later so method 2 okay let's just see it once okay it's here i think it will run okay so this is how the short date comes uh, now this is the local format right this is the way we indians uh, see date okay so it will be the way uh, you see the date so and uh, and it will be according to your macbook or your iphones okay so that's really cool now method two now for method two uh, we use uh, the same date here but uh, we use something else let r is equal to, uh, first we need a component so it will be a component and it will be component uh, it will be calendar dot current okay so yeah now uh, we can use this to fetch our date time minutes anything so first let's get r equals to component dot it will be this thing component dot component let's rename it to calendar okay so it will be easier to use calendar and this will be calendar dot 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 component so it's an enum so just press dot and you will get the options so let's get r 
and from date the date we uh, use here so that's easy now let's fetch uh, minutes min okay calendar dot component component will be dot min from date and uh, now let's uh, use this one to change the status okay status label dot text mm, equals to string in the okay first let's make it even cooler it will be r and uh, minute will be minute min okay yeah cool so let's run the app command r is the shortcut for running the app uh, so let's hope it works so here it is you can see this time and this one so thank you guys keep watching